like a it's like a Mary Poppins bag in here. Hey everyone, it's Shira, and I'm here to talk to you about my Notions bag. Now, if you are a accomplished knitter or crocheter, you're gonna have a few things. Today, I'm going to show you what's in my Notions bag. So first off, a bag that kind of holds everything. Mine uh, has been like a little sports sack, little zippy bag, can be a plastic bag, it can be whatever you want. This one is a lovely one, it's um, by Chicken Boots. First, I'm gonna talk about this really great gauge palette. It's, um, you can use it to measure your gauge swatches, so for knitters or crocheters, and then also for knitters, if you have those random needles that you find in your cushion, which, ouch, you can measure it to see what size it is, so then you can find its proper home. This is um, a lovely lotion. It doesn't have to be this lotion. This is a, um, a lavender scent. I like lavender. Knitting and crochet is so therapeutic. And sometimes you just gotta like give some like therapeuticness back, you know? You gotta just a little, little rub. Who doesn't love a nice hand rub? Um, I do. So next up, I have on the topic of hands are these stress relief gloves. Um, I actually do when I'm ever in my knitting sprees or crocheting for that matter, I do end up having problems in my wrist. So these, um, these stress relief gloves are quite helpful actually. It's great to have these in your Notions bag, especially when you're traveling. Um, so I love these. So then I have stitch holders. Now these actually come in three different sizes and they're from Lion Brand, so always helpful and it co they come in a package of three. So it's like one and done, which I love. Next up are cable needles. Um, I love cables, I think they're beautiful. It always fancies up like a little, you know, scarf or a hat, you know, kind of gives it that extra oomph and it's just made of knit and pearls. I remember finding that out and it blew my mind. It really did. I digress. I love this measuring tape so hard, it's not even funny. So that, so it's called the Perfect Notion Case. It really is the Perfect Notion Case. So when you open it up, kind of like looks like this, so you have like different compartments, right? So there are notions within the notion case, okay? Um, so in here I have um, my puppy snips, which are like little scissors, um, and they're very helpful, great for traveling. Um, next up, darning needle, you know you need this, and uh, we have them on Lion Brand, and they come in a bunch of different sizes as well in one package, which is also great. This one happens to be a large one for super bulky yarn, because I tend to use with that yarn, uh, knit with that yarn, and crochet with that yarn. Um, then we have some point protectors, stitch markers. My very dear friend, Darren, actually made these stitch markers out of beads. So, um, they're all different, they're really pretty. Um, he's a big bead person and stone person. I was looking in here and I was like, why do I have a paper clip? Cause it can also be used as a stitch marker. Uh, sometimes you, you literally have to get crafty. I also have a row counter in here and Lion Brand makes these as well and they're two different sizes. This is a smaller one. Some other things in the Notion bag. Um, lipstick, listen. You never know, and you wanna be prepared. Um, next, I have um, a pen. Any notebook will do, and I can just be like, oh, um, you know, knit that row. I don't know, I'll remember later. So hopefully, guys, I have given you some ideas and shown you what notions you may need that you don't have. And if you have something that I haven't mentioned, I would love to know what you're carrying around in your Notions bag. So leave it in the comments and uh, happy crafting, guys. Bye. Candy. And um, I need to make you all aware that um, I have it with me all the time. And if I don't, it's because I've just eaten it. <laughs>